brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear until it is done. It's that time of year when ghouls and demons appear. Oh, fuck yeah, it's doom! Doom guy approves of this weapon. Doom! Doom! Let's start dialogue throughout everything now. That's mostly it. That's about all you really need. So we were in that. Some we guys looking at it. This. God, contain even, me? Even, you dare contain Doom guy? Even in Doom, there's always a cult at some point. Always. That looks spiffy. That looks like mine. Don't worry, I'm probably sure this ain't important to anything. Brush it off a little. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> I just love it. It's like a scientific research station. Demonic evasion in progress. Like I feel like they have to go through a lot to have scientists go like, Demonic evasion in progress alert needs to be added like, to system. Yeah, that the system is capable of giving that message, that warning. That they felt it necessary. Well, I know where we're going first. Don't got anything else to do. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. And, you. and I'm not dealing with any of that crap. That right there is probably one of my favorite moments of the game. Just oh. because... My favorite moment is coming up here in a bit after you get through little obstacles here and there. But go on about yeah. yours. But just because there's the... Glory kills! Oh. Okay, so a new mechanic to this doom. Glory kills. When you get an enemy nearly dead, shoot them, whatever, they glow or whatever, you can just run up, you hit the melee button, and you just murder the crap out of them. Fair warning, for the most part, we're a family-friendly channel. Oh, but this, this is rated M for mature. Like, this is this gonna be... This is not a family-friendly game. There is gonna be blood and guts and gore, so if you are not okay with that, heads up here. My favorite one is you can shoot them in the... If you look at their legs when you do that, you can probably get them. I think you probably sw you like sweep the legs on them. So glory kills are also good because not only do you just murder the crap out of them, but they also drop health and ammo and stuff. So that's cool. Oh, look what you just got. Hey, you're holding a gun. That would be really nice. Oh. I've got a shotgun Sorry now. about that. Yeah, I can just hold up a door. That's how strong I am. Doom guy. Oh, just open hey, that door. buddy. Imps! <laughs> I just see a little shot of fireball just going, eh! <laughs> it's like a bomb toss when a goblin screws up. Uh-oh. Good ol' imps. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste my precious shotgun shells on you. Hey, rude. Unless you want me to. That's an explosive barrel next to them. Hmm, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Gibbs! Gibbs everywhere! So this is a fancy thing that is trying to summon demons. If you saw on the mission thing, it was called a gore nest. Can you okay. imagine what we're going to do with the gore nest when we get to it? Kind of gore. Well, that's what you do with a gore nest. 
You rip and tear. Rip and tear because they have big guts. So whenever you see one of these, it means you're going to be fighting a lot of guys. So take a scope around the area, see what you're up against, see what you're going to be doing. Because it's going to be a good time for everybody. Also check Mostly you. us, not them. <laughs> check for health and shield and armor and ammo when you need it. That's up. Demons are about. Once you take out the Gornest, the demons get kind of pissy with you about it. I don't know why. They're demons. Why should I give a shit? Uh, it's just nice to have a running gun kind of game here. He, ex oh, 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 oh. he think, exploded. I think you exploded a barrel next to him and he just kind of went boom in like multiple layers. Rude. Throwing fireballs at me while I'm trying to shotgun you. Demons these days. No respect for their demon hunters. Well, I was going <laughs> to jump up and glory kill you, but you just kind of died. One of these days I'll hit you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Punch him so hard that you just blow his head hey. off. So, shotgun shells, close range. Shotgun shells at close range because they do spread. So, of course, like... At distance, you're not going to be doing as much damage because not as many individual pellets are going to be hitting them. But close range, they'll give a guy. You know, it's funny because some people forget that shotguns can be loaded with both shot and slugs. And slugs are the ones that a lot of people tend to, to not think of for shotguns. Those are like an actual bullet that'll just come at you. Ah. Uh, shot is when it just spreads everywhere. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. He would ruin everything. Well, guess what I'm doing? Gonna ruin everything! This is my favorite scene. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now. Oh, fuck yeah! Doom. Doom! Love, love the underlying Wait E1M1. Oh, just everything about that scene I love. The fact that you fucking know right from the start that Samuel Hayden is your fucking bad guy. And I love he that- He tries to- he tries to justify everything that happens, and then you look down at a dead person who didn't deserve anything that happens, and you can just feel Doom Guy's eyes just narrow at him as he's cracking his knuckles and goes, Fuck you! And then every part of that music is punctuated at the very end with a shotgun going, Shh, shh, shh. Like, ah, oh, It gets me wanting to murder demons! Let's murder demons, Naka! I want to murder demons! You got it. Okay, so there are a little codex around that you can pick up, as well as just information on enemies and crap that you kill. Ow, what the shit? <laughs> I was background dressing, what the hell? Oh, he's gone. So, before I jump down there, I'm gonna kill as many guys as I can. Because as soon as I jump down there, there's gonna be guys, and I gotta fight them. And fighting less than like 500 guys at once is cool. Because these guys are just gonna be really annoying. Oh my goodness, I missed him. It's not like the possessed are bad or anything, they're just more annoying. Oh my goodness. Friggin... Friggin die! <laughs> Press the F button. I'm about to just go down there and murder you with my bare hands. There, there. I did it. Yeah, his head popped off. There's another guy just behind that slab there. Okay, so you can also charge up by holding uh, right mouse button. You can see the little uh, thing go around the cursor. Also, before you jump down real quick, I want you to turn around real quick. That's the main base behind you. You just apparently came out of a secret, a secret area, so they apparently did not want you anywhere near the main base. Yeah, main base is everything over here. This is just a secret little thing off to the side, built effectively for you. All right, let's go murder some guys.
That was a barrel just behind you that exploded. Hey, whatever works, man. That's why I took off your shield. My shotgun doesn't care. <laughs> My shotgun just shots. Nope, give me that. I was really hoping that one just mad you break his arm. I'm trying to think of what one I'm thinking of that- There it is! That's the one I fucking love! Did I just shove his foot in his mouth? You- You grabbed him, threw him on the ground- You grabbed his leg, threw him on the ground with that, broke his knee, and then took his foot and smashed his face in. Ooh. <laughs> that, that launched him in the air. Hey. Hi. Oh, it's just so visceral. Like, this game is amazing. This is just Doom. This is what Doom is. It's just run and gun. Little story here to pepper everything if you want to, but you don't need to touch on it. Like, the best... This game did everything with Doom that we've wanted out of Doom. They've tried to change Doom around over the years, and especially with, like, Doom 3. You know, Doom 3 isn't as bad, but it's not Doom. Yeah, it's not a bad game, but it's not Doom. Doom. Like, they put a lot of effort into modernizing it some, making it fit with current norms, and... You want Doom? This is Doom. This is Doom! You shoot, guys! That's it! You run real fast, you shoot guys! You don't need a reason. Hell, the first thing you fucking did was went from waking up from apparently a long stasis was to smash some guy's head in. What more do you need from this? Apparently, the developers um, had actually stopped and... and You're were... maxed on armor. Okay. Apparently, the developers had initially... Need a blue card key. And the blue card keys are back, too. Yeah. And looks like that may be it. It's even blue. Yeah. Like, I'm sure they chose that color intentionally. It's a nice outline to show you what Saints important. Anyway, the developer thing. So the developers had originally intended to put kind of a longer tutorial at the start of the game, to get just to get you a better feel for how to play the game and what's going on. There's also a uh, dude around here. A secret. combat shotgun model. Blue guy. Yeah, so they'd intended to, put, intended to put kind of a longer tutorial in the game. Um, just to get you a feel, and like an introduction to the story and everything, just to kind of get you a feel for what's going on and introduce you to it. And... Grenade! <laughs> That's a threeper. And they... At the end of the day, just stepped back and said, It's not Doom. We just... We just what? Like, we just... We need the game to be Doom. Like, all you, all you need to do is go in and murder the crap out of guys. That's all you need. And so they changed the intro to what it is now. That's all you need for a nice Doom intro. Yes, they tell you straight up, rip and tear until it is done. And then they put a gun in your hands. Yeah, I got up here. Then they put a gun in your hands and tell you to go to town. Crap, you guys come from? Oh, they were climbing up from down below. I'm just going to tell everyone straight up. We're probably going to look for secrets, but we're not going to find them all. Yeah, I know where a couple of them are, but off the top of my head, I don't know where all of them are. I exploded him. I don't even have any arms. What are you doing? Coming you after got me. No arms. So there's no cover-based mechanics. 
no you have taking pick. your time, running around, picking enemies off. It's just full speed, full speed, no stop. You go in, you murder the crap out of it. Oh, you have a health bar and a shield bar. Yeah, There's no, no, rege regenerating, no health. regenerating health. Ooh, hey, that guy. I'm gonna get back to that guy. Another thing that I like, though, and a lot of people didn't, was that there can be slow points in the game. Like, where you're just kind of running around, poking around, looking for secrets or whatever, and a lot of people, like, kind of didn't like that. They just wanted the all-go. And, no, the original Doom was actually just as much it, running it, around murdering guys at 110 miles an hour as it was exploration and getting a feel for it, it's what's kinda, where. It's kind of like the people who think Sonic is nothing but just... Oh, oh he's missing he's, half of himself. <laughs> he exploded a barrel next to him and just part of him just went like, Oh, I'm just over here now. That's kind of like what people expect Sonic to be, just like, uh, just run fast until running. Yeah, run fast all the time, that's Kind of like... forgetting that that's like the first level, then after that it's like running with platforming. Even also, the first level, you do that crap, you're gonna run right into spikes, even back the first level. Door. Oh, this door back here is one of the, one of the very fancy secrets in the game. Yeah, we have to find a lever to open that up. Can't help it, I'm a born lever puller. I know it's around here somewhere, but that's death. Yep. Like at the beginning, I think you can actually jump down from that that cliff you were at, but yeah, I'm gonna poke around. I'm not gonna waste everybody's time too much trying to find stuff, though. But if it's a le if it's a lever, it's probably either back where we came from, or it's up ahead, or something. Oh, they also made getting around pretty easy, so they don't have to worry about putting stairs and crap everywhere. You just jump and push on something, and you can climb up crap. Just getting around is easy. Because they wanted movement to be fluid, because the whole game is movement. Like, movement is so integral to everything. Okay, something up there. What about there? Something up my sleeve. <laughs> it's a shotgun. Never rob a magician, kids. Oh, that's the droid. Yeah, these guys are great. Because you get to pick. What do you want out of a shot out of a shotgun? Do you want a charge burst? Charge up to three round burst with tighter spread. Or do you want an explosive shot? An arcing explosive round. Hmm. Kinda like a sh uh, like a little grenade launcher. Oh, I'm in a tutorial yeah. down here on the bottom. So whenever you find one of these, you get one of these and you have to purchase it from the thing. Like, it's holding the power up, so you get the... Give me that stupid thing. Though that's a little unnecessary. Hey, he wasn't giving it to us. I know. But it just feels wrong to abuse the robot for no reason. No raison. If you go, I think if you went back, you could probably find the lever. I feel like it or it's either up ahead it's, it's I feel like it's up ahead and we have to come back but I think another thing that I like about this and stuff like that shows it is just how filled with rage doom guy is like he is at all times very ticked off I wonder why Just the fact that people probably woke him up in the middle of the demonic evasion Did I just step on his foot I think you stepped on his foot to, like, pin him and then just smashed his head in. Don't forget, you just got your explosive shot. And there's a long recharge on it. Shotgun in the back! Punched him in the back. Oh no, low ammo. Gotta go grab us some ammo. Kids these days. And their ammo. <laughs> Exploded. Okay, so um, if it's not already obvious, I should probably explain. Um, I, Naka, am the one that's currently playing right now. 
and many people who've been following the channel for years and years know that I have a very fond history with Doom. I friggin' love Doom. The original, like, the original Doom, Doom 2, are one of, not only one of the few first-person shooters that I actually enjoy, but probably some of my favorite games just hands down of all time. I love Doom, and I am so glad to see a legit Doom. Um, we may be trading off as the game goes on. We don't know, we haven't figured that one out yet. But, eh. I mean, I think you'd have more fun with it, so... Don't exactly feel like you have to trade off for me for any reason, but... Oh, that kind of hurt. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. Ow. I think he shot me off the wall. Ow, he's still shooting at me. I don't like this man. Who knew him? And so fast. Like, you don't have to... You don't got buttons for crap. Just... You move. That's how you do it. Oh, you shot him in the head and instantly took him down the melee. You're perma running. You don't have to hold shift. I think you can change that if you want to, so you hold shift to run. Why would you? Oh, <laughs> that crunch. I knew you were right there. Okay, this didn't work. You have a melee button, but it's kind of hard to use on imps because they move kind of quick. <laughs> that was priceless. I'm gonna get. Oh, he shot. Me. Oh, he pro he punched my head off. Also, you got the shield power ops and all that goody. I hear noises. Yeah, they're just right down there. Oh, I guess it sounded more like imps than. Oh no, it's the just wandering the undead. Did you go back up there, or was it look like there was a cave back there? Ow. Now, I do admittedly play Doom a little more cautiously than a number of people. Hey, it keeps you alive longer. I think he's dead. Okay, that area's cleared out. That's gonna be a whole other sack of potatoes to get involved in once we go down that way. And I believe we have likely passed. Yeah, that's getting into a whole other sack of potatoes. And I think I just woke them all up, so that's cool. Yeah, you know what? I think now is going to be a good time to take a break because I'm sure we missed that lever. I'm pretty sure it was back behind us somewhere. And moving forward is changing things a little bit. Ow! So, yeah. Doom! Doom! <laughs> My throat. 